Well, back for another episode of Behind the Wheel. And my name is Rob Greenlee. Thank you for turning on the video and checking out my channel. And that's at Rob Greenlee. So I'm back in my car, my Model 3 2022 long range. And got the update uh, a few days ago, the um, 12. Uh, 5.4, which is the upgrade from the the prior version that I had, but I'm on a on a trip back to Costco again, so I figured we could um, do another trial run of uh, full self driving and see how it's behaving and if it's behaving any differently um, than the prior version that I I demoed in the last video that um, had. I, I believe it was the the earlier version of the software. So let's Go ahead and initiate the, the full self-driving here and we'll let it take over. This time it was very, very quick in kind of launching forward, but I do have the car set to aggressive mode on, on the full self-driving or just, just the driving mode of the car. So I, I've been wondering, uh, because it has like the chill mode and then it also has the aggressive mode um, or and also the the standard mode as well. I kind of wonder if adjusting that has a has an impact on on, on the full self driving experience. So so anyway, let's let's see how it goes. It seems like it's been going smoothly. I have the car car set to auto adjust for speed because because before I I was making all the adjustments to the speed, so I set it to be on average about 10 miles over the speed limit and it, it seems to adhere to it pretty closely but it's um it still varies a lot it it makes a lot of its own choices and decisions about how fast it goes like like right now it's set at a 25 mile an hour speed limit and 10 over would put us at 35 and it just went up to 35 um, and it just kind of stopped going up and I figured that's probably enough of a speed difference to make up for the flow of traffic since people do tend to drive a little bit faster than the speed limit pretty much everywhere and if you don't adjust for that then you kind of get in this situation where people are behind you honking their horn or they're trying to pass you and all this kind of stuff because people do generally and there's different parts in the road where you're basically not um, really you cannot drive the speed limit else you would be an aggravation to everybody around you so so anyway it appears to be driving very smoothly it came up to lights and was very gentle on its um, on its slowdown and it wasn't overly aggressive on, on the acceleration so I think in a way so far it's it's definitely a little bit better already um, just on its kind of normal driving function um, so it just managed a, a stop-and-go situation and so th this is as you can tell looking out the window this is kind of a residential area um, so the roads tend to be a little bit narrower in certain parts so this is a good good challenge for the full self-driving to be able to navigate this and it typically does a really good job um, so I've been impressed so far with the the 12.5.4 um, version which I just got maybe four or five days ago um, and ha have driven the car a few times since and I've had a good experience with it uh, it, it seems to be doing well so I did also 
I'm making an adjustment on my camera angle to be a little more focused on the screen and a little less focused on the roadway in front of me. So I, I do think that the, the screen is blocking a little bit of the view of the road, which is what it had before. So that, this is a little bit of a different orientation. But I have to say also that the car is very aggressive around its eye tracking and being very, very, uh, kind of say, very aggressive on its kind of monitoring of my attention, right? Okay, we got into a little bit of situation where the car has to decide who's going to go first, and it it decided to be aggressive and take take the lead versus have it uh, play a subservient role, which oftentimes I've seen, especially in the prior version, that it had a, a little bit of a subservient role to other other cars on the roads. So it's kind of interesting that it actually made that choice um, to actually just take an assertive position on this. So, so anyway, it's... I'll be quiet for a minute and you can just see how the car travels here and if we if we come up to a different uh, situation I'll comment here but uh, it seems to be doing a good job and th this is a very kind of bumpy road so it actually causes my camera to bounce around a little bit in the car and it moves a little bit so I have to bring back a little bit I have to probably tighten it a little bit Definitely wants to move. Okay, so we're at a stoplight. It's got a green light and it's taken the turn quite well. So I haven't played around too much with the um, the actual summon capability that this this version has. Um, I could probably do that uh, as I um, leave Costco, and I'll try and do a recording of that too. But I know that there's a lot of videos out there on the was it the actual summon capability that the car has. Um, so I will I will do that. But I've been I've been impressed with the car so far and its its ability to. Not have any kind of significant issues where I've had to take over. So it actually has done a done a really good job so far. So if you haven't got the update yet, it's definitely an exciting one to get. I think. So let's see. Okay, it navigated that turn very well with on on oncoming traffic. this new mount and it's a little bit off a little bit there we go because of how bumpy the roads are as you can see it's very um, tight roads I don't know if you can see down to the road enough there to, to tell but probably gonna have to adjust the camera angle on this to get a get a little bit better view over the um, the screen here but you can really see on the screen what's what's going on here okay the car really slowed down rapidly for some reason I'm not quite sure why uh, I'm not sure what it saw there really wasn't anything around but occasionally the car will do that it'll just rapidly heavy brake all of a sudden and it's still kind of unclear what the what the car saw that would cause it to do a rapid braking. So okay, we're coming up to an intersection here. 
no cars around that I can see. Now they are left onto Terry Road. So I'm excited for the upcoming um, Tesla Robo Taxi event. Was it on 1010? I, I believe that's coming up. So I'm assuming that that there are a bunch of versions of FSD that are in the pipeline right now. I've heard about even even another one that's coming coming down the pike. The the 12.5, I believe, .5. Um, which is the next version of this update. So I may be getting that one any day now. I don't know if these are just incremental bug fixes or what's happening. I am curious about what the next major hurdle is. I believe it was the, the 13 dot series is what's coming. And I'm wondering if the hardware three vehicles like like this one uh, are are going to be able to last now the the whole process of updating all these it, it appears that they are and it appears that things are moving in a positive direction on that that they are going to get all the updates but we shall see I suppose you know what's going to happen on that side so, In 1, but I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the the camera off now, and then we will resume from the parking lot at Costco. Well, we're coming up on Costco, and just wanted to to resume the video. I did do a repositioning on the camera, so you'll be able to see the roadway in front of us as well as the screen so we're coming up on Costco so we're just navigating a few more stoplights and we'll be right there and I haven't had to do any interventions yet so we are a clean drive so far now turn right onto East Main Street. So let's hope it stays that way we don't have any unusual circumstances come up So far, so good. feet, your destination will be on the left. Alright, that was an abrupt stop, but there was a pedestrian there. Parking lots are always the... <laughs> The scary places to let now your car your destination is on the left. kind of drive around in because things are so unpredictable. Pedestrians popping out in front of you and cars just doing unusual things, pulling out. And you can easily get into an accident. So I can see why the car would be very aggressive when it comes to being in a parking lot.
but I'm still waiting for the car to be able to navigate a parking lot and park on its own. It's currently there's a vehicle right so it seems to have found a place to park so and it seems to be doing a good job all right it completed the the back end parking and so I will record the the summon when it when I leave Costco and see if it comes and gets me. It's it's a little scary to let the car drive on its own in a Costco parking lot, but I I'm a little scared to actually let it do that given how many pedestrians and unusual behaviors that car drivers exhibit in parking lots. So maybe I'll take it up to a more open parking lot and give it a try and not do it here at Costco. So I'll probably go up to Kohl's in their back lot where there isn't too many vehicles around and try and try and do it there. Thanks. So he picked me up at Costco. Great. It seemed to work pretty well. I didn't have to do too many turns. I just did a straight drive right up to the entrance to Costco and I hopped in the car. So the actual smart summon is uh, appears to, to work, but I didn't really give it a, a really good test on going through a bunch of um, turns or navigating traffic or anything like that but it's a little little bit of a demo on the actual smart summit so thank you so much for watching my video today i appreciate it very much and i will post more here in the near future as new updates come out to my tesla model 3 long range 2022 so you, you've been watching 12.5.4 and hoping to get the 12. 5.5 here soon so thank you so much and subscribe uh, to my channel to get all of the um, all the updated videos and thank you so much for watching bye